Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome. Today we have Umidigi Bison GT2 Pro 4G phone. It's a red phone, uh, all weather phone. So let's open it up. It's a decent box, um, bright yellow in color. Umidigi has changed their logo last year. Um, yeah, standard labeling. Um, interestingly, it has two sims IMEI 1 and IMEI 2 um, decent specs listed on the boxing and uh, yeah it also weighs a good amount um, um, so as it's a rugged phone we expect it to be heavy and yeah let's open it up straight away phone on top of the box and we have the specs listed over here, 90 hertz display, 6.5 inch screen, the octa-core processor, 8GB, 256GB memory, triple camera setup, 6000mAh battery, IP68, 69 rating, and it comes with a st stock Android. The phone is good, has a nice grip, all the labeling and stuff explains what are all the buttons, where is the position of the buttons and all. Um, a regular um, manual. In the box, um, I believe it comes with a 5 watt charger um, and um, it takes USB A by the way. So uh, it's a regular speed, um, it supports fast charging, but still a regular size brick. And um, yeah, USB A to USB C. Yes, all the phones nowadays are having the USB C. And um, yeah, as a size comparison, I have Pixel 7 Pro. On my right, um, it's the screen size and everything is good. Um, overall, phone size is also almost similar and close to it. The only difference you would see is the bezels. Let's hear the sound of plastic wrap. It's always satisfactory, I would say. Moving on, um, all the standard um, rugged phone characteristics. It has the waterproofing for the speaker the uh, hook for a tag, uh, customized buttons, um, some other uh, details as well. Um, it has waterproofing label on the side. Uh, we all know that the rug phones are by default waterproofing. A customized button, a fingerprint uh, button, which also doubly acts as a fingerprint sensor, uh, power button, yeah, another customized button on the side. SIM tray has a memory card slot, which doubles as a SIM 2 slot, USB-C, um, output and um, um, moving on um, this phone uh, is really rugged and um, it's very heavy um, the triple camera setup is also good I would say decent I don't really trust the macro lens and all I would prefer ultra wide lens being used as a macro lens just like how pixel implemented it let's boot it up let's try to boot this rugged phone there goes bison uh, Umidigi is also trying to brand the rugged phone market as a bison devices and there goes the standard android setup screen it's all stock i also see the thick bezels all around the display but giving this is a rugged phone it's expected so let's go with the setup we can notice that if this helps in setting up the phone for another kid or another family member which is great google hats off and this has the phase unlock uh, it uses a front camera, it's not an IR enabled um, unlock, standard fingerprint sensor as well on the side. And the fingerprint sensor feedback is also good, it vibrates, a nice haptic feedback. Uh, it also has an NFC payment, you can set up anything, any card from Google Pay. And yeah, the fingerprint unlock is also very decent and fast. Like it, it doesn't uh, it doesn't feel like a two hundred dollar phone. Um, it's fast, and the experience is also all pixel like stock Android twelve experience. It's fast. I would not say it's super fast, but at least like it's uh, uh, decently fast for a two hundred dollar um, uh, rugged phone with the two SIMs capab capability. And um, yeah, uh, you can see it's. It's a fluid screen, by the way, the 90 hertz, I've enabled it. It's not enabled by default. Um, so that, that is one um, change that you might have to do once you buy this phone. But yeah, it's fast enough uh, for a day-to-day -day actions. Let's go on to the camera now. Um, by default mode, I have some toys over here, which I can shoot and then review the photo 
image quality and all. So by default, I'm not. I'm trying to just focus it on the toy. Click picture. It's out of focus. So the regular mode is not so great. At least on the focus part, this is how it looks. There is also some pro mode or like a couple of other modes. Let's give it a try. I took the bunch by the way. Um, the details are good, the focus is also good. I would say even if we do the optical zoom, like the digital zoom, it's clear, it's not um, blurry. These are how the pictures are. Um, and there is a micro, uh, macro lens as well. So let's try to capture some really close up um, of this toy. It's decent, I would say. It's not, um, at least on the image viewer, on the phone camera app, it's, it's good. Even the zoom is good. Um, it's decent, again. Uh, it's not super useful. The macro lenses are not really useful, but yeah. And the uh, by default, the apps are also like plain stock, no third party apps or anything. There is one app, this one, which is a toolbox app, which is uh, really good, at least for the ones, for the customers who try to get a rugged phone. If you see, there is a, a flashlight, there is a, um, a measure, a height measure app, there is a thermometer. Um, it has a thermometer, IR thermometer on the back. Um, probably need some setup before I try it out. But yeah, it really works. I tried it after math. And um, there are some sound decibel meters um, and um, um, no regular, uh, all the gyroscope, all the sensors, making use of the sensors and creating some apps out of it. A regular flashlight, very dedicated app, a one stop shop for everything as a product. If you're really trying to use this for your um, work. But yeah, a parameter, by the way. And um, yeah, the overall, I would say the apps are really good. Um, having them by default. Um, on the phone installed because the rugged phone is used for rugged usages. Maybe um, who who is out um, use their phones in a um, um, delicate environment and all. The Zello, the app which I just closed, was the only um, uh, third-party app that is installed, which is a texting app. But I'm sure everyone gets rid of it. The uh, settings is also great. Um, it comes with Android Stock 12. Yeah, the software experience is also good. I feel like I'm using a Pixel device, but not the latest Pixel, but an older Pixel, uh, given the CPU, given the price point and everything. Um, it comes with a stock Android 12, uh, which is great. Um, um, no flavors added on top of it, which is really good. It, it is fast, actually. Um, just one reason can be because of the no added flavors on top of it and sim 1 and sim 2 that you can you can see um the settings experience is also great uh, there is a smart assistant tab a smart key which i was talking about the customized keys two keys you can set it for any default actions that are listed over there or trigger an app directly so if you want to open a clock uh, by just clicking a single click um, you can do that and you can set that to open the thermometer open or uh, Turn on the flashlight if you're really focused on to work and you don't want to spend time dragging down the uh, notification tray, enabling the uh, flashlight and all. There are two custom smart keys. I set one for thermometer, which is great. Let's go uh, look at the camera, video and audio recording from the device. So now I'm just trying to record a video with this MEDG Bison and show you how is the video quality, audio quality, as well as the stabilization. If you see, I'm just walking um, with a regular Pixel 7 Pro or a Samsung Galaxy S22. It should not be a big deal like to stabilize this level of walking. But um, let's see the output. Uh, for now, it's shaking. Uh, not like too much, but at least to a good extent. And this is a default uh, video settings so i'm coming from a indoor to an outdoor with an extreme sun not extreme sun like moderate sun uh, 
and these are some colorful flowers uh, yeah so I don't I don't say that it is a great camera but I would say uh, it's decent uh, decent for a two hundred dollars rugged phone that too rug phone yeah and like this is how the sky looks it's not so blue just for a comparison I'll also put the same uh, um, video of Pixel 7 Pro as well for comparison this was the same colorful flowers which we shot just now and now I'm shooting with the Pixel 7 Pro uh, this is how the sun is this is how the sky and these are the other flowers so yeah so we just saw the video from Pixel 7, it performed like 50% of what Pixel 7 does but literally cost 20% of what Pixel 7 does, 20 or 30%, which is great. These are some camera samples I took from, uh, the macro lens is great by the way, outdoor. You can see that the flower buds are really good. This is a low light night mode photo uh, video, I'm taking it in my closet. So overall, I am very happy with what Amidigi has provided with the $200 Bison device which is great, but it's 4G. If it has a 5G, it would be a perfect device. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment below uh, for more and more updates and more videos which are coming very soon. Thanks.